Is it the redheaded stepchild you ever wanted? No. Is it the colonoscopy before Sunday church? The chances are probably not. But what we are talking about in this specific episode is cyber auditing. I know it sounds fun. I know it sounds super sexy. But come on with me through the journey. I hope you guys enjoy the show. All right, so cyber auditing. This is by far one of the sexiest topics that I have to ever talk about or include upon. Not, no, not really, no. Okay, so cyber auditing is like going to a root canal or better yet, a prostate exam. Just some things you just don't wanna do and I totally get it, they're painful and sometimes just the people have big fingers and they just don't know what they're doing and that's okay. We're gonna force through this, okay? And we're gonna get through this together. Sadly, that even though we are not like cyber auditing, we have to go through cyber auditing and and the reason we go through those is one, it provides a sense of accountability. Two, it provides us a sense of no wherewith at all and also to understand where our gaps are. What do we need to do to shore up those gaps and also how can we shore up those gaps? Sometimes it's time, money, or resources, okay? And number three, uh, cyber auditing is like skateboarding backwards, downhill, you know, head first. It's pretty aggressive and the same aspect, they're just not really fun. But at the end of the day, the best things we can do is, in reality situation as cybersecurity professionals, is one, provide a cohesive environment to help each other out. Two, be respectful of their auditors, even though they might not be respectful of you, your time, or your money, or your resources, or just in general. And three, be able to provide factual based evidence and always refer to the factual based evidence in a timely manner. I hope this helps. Enjoy the show. Rock and roll.